Hey everyone, I'm Ace from the ECU Pro and today we're going to be talking about VW ECU failure and how the ECU Pro can help you. Now if you're watching this video you probably suspect that you have some sort of ECU failure and in today's video we will cover all the important topics that you need to consider if you suspect that you have some sort of failure with your engine control module. We will be taking a look at what exactly is the ECU, why diagnosing an ECU is so difficult, the importance of testing the ECU, ECU repairs and replacement services, and how exactly our mail-in service works. And lastly, we'll take a look at ECU repairs and replacement costs. So what exactly is the ECU? The ECU stands for engine control module, and it's often referred to as the powertrain control module, motor control module, engine computer, or really any other term that refers to the module that controls the engine. They are all exactly the same thing. So this module is essentially responsible for receiving, some, receiving all the data from the sensors connected to the engine, processing that data, and providing some sort of output. So for example, if you press your throttle in the vehicle, this sensor, will, this ECU will receive that data. It will process that data and it will deliver more fueling, more timing to the, to the engine. And in response, it will receive the sensors, it will receive data from the oxygen sensor to make sure that it's not providing too much fueling as an example. So why exactly is it so difficult to diagnose ECU failure? Well, the ECU is connected to all the sensors with wiring. So you have your ECU here, you have your sensor, and you have some sort of wiring in between. Now, if either one of those three parts fail, you will experience some sort of engine disruption. You can either have a failing sensor, you can either have failed wiring, or you can have a failure with the ECU. And with it being able to be any one of those three parts, people often misdiagnose the ECU as faulty when it might have been the wiring or the sensor itself. So if you can imagine you have some sort of engine misfire, it can either be the injector, it can be the wiring to the injector, or it can be this unit itself that's not controlling the injector correctly. So common issues that can indicate that the ECU has failed is engine limp mode, fault codes relating to the ECU, warning lights on the dash, or in the most severe cases, you can even experience complete engine shutdown. Often, any one of those conditions will put their vehicle into limp mode, and limp mode is essentially a term or essentially a state that where the ECU is to suspect that there's something wrong and it reduces the performance of the engine electronically. So if you take, for example, if you have an overheating engine, the ECU will receive that data. It will limit the performance to the engine in an attempt to get you home, but also not cause any damage to the vehicle itself. Now, unfortunately, all those conditions can be caused by either the ECU that's failed, the wiring that's failed, or the actual sensor itself that's failed. And that's where the ECU Pro comes in. We can offer you three services to help you test your ECU. We offer a testing service, we offer a repair service, and we offer a replacement service. Your testing service is probably one of the most important services that can help you avoid expensive, unnecessary replacement parts. In most cases, we will, test, we will also test your ECU in actual vehicles. So you can see here at our testing facility in Pennsylvania, we have a whole fleet of different testing vehicles, and we'll put these ECUs into an actual vehicle to simulate real-world conditions and make sure that we perform a full functional test on the unit. If we do find that there's a fault on the unit, we can offer you a repair service. Repairs for engine control units typically include stuff like engine misfire, blown internal components. So for example, the ECU is not able to communicate anymore with the oxygen sensor, and there's some sort of blown internal components that's causing that. Or it can be things such as corrupt software, where someone tried to flash the ECU with some tuning software, and they interrupted the process, or a locksmith tried to add some keys to the vehicle, didn't follow the correct process, or something interrupted the flash, and it, corru and it corrupted the unit, leading to no communication issues. Our, re our replacement services typically cover things like water damage to ECUs, and, or any other damage that's substantial enough to render the, the unit unrepairable. All our replacement services are plug and play, meaning that you can simply refit this ECU into your vehicle. It will start right up and you don't have to perform any other work or any other coding to get the unit to run in your vehicle. 
lastly, all our units also come with a warranty. So you don't have to worry that there's any expensive, you don't have to worry that this unit fails and a couple of months later down the line, you have to purchase another one. So how much exactly does it cost to repair your ECU? Well, it really does depend on what exactly failed. It can be as simple as just a testing fee where it's misdiagnosed as faulty, or you can need a repair or replacement. You can simply visit our website or give us a call and one of our friendly staff will be able to assist you through the process. You'll also see on our website, we have clear prices for all the VW vehicles for testing, repairs and replacement services. So to recap, if you think there's an issue with your ECU, always start off with your testing service. You simply remove this unit, you mail it to us, and we will perform a test for you on your specific control module. From there, we'll offer you repairs or replacements, depending on what, it, what exactly it is that we find. Thanks for watching everyone. And if you found all this content helpful, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us and hit the notification bell. And we're always trying to put out some more tips and insights on anything ECU related. Drive safe and we'll see you next time.